Hey footy fans, you ready for some more footy fun with Footy Finn? Here are my tips for NRL round 26. Now we're approaching the business end of the season for sure. Only two rounds left before the finals. There are five teams still in the running to finish an eighth spot and make the finals. See my previous video in short for the rundown there. Now listen, something a bit different this week. We're getting to that end of the season where players are tired, they're carrying niggling injuries, and likewise, all this research and predicting the future is taking its toll on footy fins. So I'm splitting up my tips into two videos this week, so I'm going to cover the first four games in this video. So Thursday night, the Cowboys host a storm up in Townsville, the Cowboys are missing Chad Townsend. They have been for a little while. Clifford is filling in there. Uh, they have got Jeremiah Nanai and Jason Taumalolo back. So those two men will make a massive difference to the Cowboys forward pack. On the other hand, the Storm, who are guaranteed to finish in first spot and take out the minor premiership, are resting not one, not two, not three, but 11 players um, is a change from last week. And some of those being rested include Harry Grant, Jerome Hughes, Nelson Asofa Solomona, Will Warbrick, uh, Tui Kama 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 Kamika, um, and others. So Munster is still playing. He had a long injury layoff during the origin period, of course. Um, Fa'a Longo's on the wing. Pappenhausen. Is at fullback. He's also had an injury layoff. So, um, yeah, look, going with the Cowboys to win that on the basis of the Storm resting so many players. And will they continue that resting uh, policy against the Broncos at Lane Park next week? Let's wait and see. Friday night, the Dogs take on Manly. Now, this is a top eight clash. In fact, this could be a preview of a week one finals match. Um, so um, it should be a good one. However, um, the dogs are missing not only Kurt Mann, but their captain, Stephen Crichton. Um, he's out, what is it, a one week ban? Um, anyway, uh, they, he's, they're going to miss him, obviously. He makes a massive difference to this team and pretty much any team he plays in these days. They have got Josh Curran back. Manly, of course, are coming off a disappointing loss to the Tigers last week. They will be hurting from that, and they will have a point to prove. Uh, they have got Tommy Talau back in the centres, and the old journeyman Matt Lodge has come on uh, to the bench at number 17. Uh, given that the Dogs are missing Crichton and Manly are coming off that disappointing loss, I'm uh, backing Manly to bounce back, Manly to win there. Uh, then Friday night prime time, the Panthers are hosting the Rabbitohs. Of course, speaking of coming off disappointing losses, the Panthers are coming off a somewhat unexpected loss to the Canberra Raiders last weekend. Again, they'll have a point to prove. Of course, they're still missing Nathan Cleary uh, for at least the next two weekends. They've got Mitch Kenny back as hooker. Uh, the Rabbitohs have Cody Walker back at 5'8". He'll make a difference there. They're missing Shaki Mitchell, and of course his brother Latrell's out for the season. Um, going with the Panthers to win there, Panthers to bounce back. Uh, Saturday, the afternoon game, the Eels are hosting the Dragons. Of course, the Eels are, uh, I think, favourites in my mind to take out the wooden spoon now. Uh, they, for the first quarter of the game at Suncorp last week, Looked like they were going to upset the Broncos, but it didn't happen. They can't seem to fill out the full 80 minutes, the Eels. The Dragons, of course, are sitting in eighth. They got whipped by the Sharks last week. If the Dragons win their last two games, they're guaranteed to make the finals. If they don't, they've got to rely on other results. The Eels have got Luca Moretti back, um, otherwise largely unchanged. Similarly, the Dragons, not many changes. They've got Fatala Mariner back on the bench at 17. Going with the Dragons to win that one. So there you go. There's my tips for the first four games around 26. Look out for my tips on the other four games over the next 24 hours or so. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave your comments. I'd like to know what you hear, what you're thinking. Um, again, rugby union videos are getting a lot more views. So come on, NRL fans. Anyway, bring it on around 26. Can't wait. Till next time, see you out around the left edge.